Keeping a beard well-groomed, that can be quite the task. You know, I've noticed that in my own life. Drew, you've had a beard before, right? Uh, for have? a short time, yes. It can, can get a little unruly. Yeah. So, there's a new product out there. Drew, there's one for you. Thank you. Dr. Berman, in case you're interested, this is a product that claims to be a bearded man's new best friend. It's called the Beard Bib. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this picture. So a husband and wife created this because I, I probably she was the one annoyed by those hairs left in the sink. Yeah. And I will say this, those hairs are messy. Yeah, and they don't always, then they like clog up your drain. And, and the truth is you do have to very regularly trim your beard. Otherwise, it gets very quickly out of control. It seems like every time my son, who has a beard, comes to my house, he trims it at my house. So I walk in the Everywhere. bathroom and I look and I, I go. Know. And it gets on the sink and the counter. And well, and they do. They, they kind of the shoot off to the side. Right here. But I'm going to ask you a question, Dr. Berman. Yeah? Guess how many hairs the average man sprouts in 24 hours? In facial hair. Just facial hairs. And this seems really high. The answer on here. Yes, it is. Don't cheat. <laughs> and I, this seems like I more no than idea. I would have ever imagined. How many? I don't... Sprouts where? All over your body? You're sprouting? According to the statistic we read. Facial hairs. 25,000 facial hairs. Doesn't that seem like a lot? Sprouts. It does. It's a lot of facial hair. I don't hours. think I have 25,000 facial hairs on my, my beard right now. But maybe, I guess that includes maybe all these little ones all yeah, over. Because you have little yeah, micro yeah. hairs everywhere. Um, the problem with beards is this. When my beard has gotten longer, I've noticed, and this is, it can, it can trap things. You, you know, bet you can, can trap things. things. So grooming properly is very important. I actually applaud the husband and wife that created this product. Um, I give it a little thumbs up. I yeah. like it. I like it too. By the way, have you ever been to a barbershop and had your, your beard trimmed if I were or, a guy, or shaved? I'd be you know, where you get whiskey yes, and very cool. I've never done real, that. Those, you know, where they go like, you know, the big knife they do it. Well, when it's so, time to shave your beard off, go. go I think you should do that beard. for a clean shave. That looks like well, I, I was going to say. Guy, be doing I was going to say. So Drew and I went and did Manny Petties. I think next season we should go rock, go do the whole go get hang a out, full clean whiskey. Shave. Should we grow a beard at the end of the summer and then go do that? Yeah. So, well, I'm, I'll, I'll do it. I, I might never shave again, by the way, so. It's perfectly quaffed, like every hair. I can see shaved. it now. We're going to come back season nine. He's going to look like ZZ Top. I'm <laughs> on. And he's got a little red, a little blonde, and even a little tiny bit of gray. All right, we're, this is me segueing to our next topic. <laughs> So these are mine from when I was a little kid. Oh. Just kidding. You know what this is? This is a baby mop. Soft. This outfit is geared at multitasking moms to sweep up the competition. <laughs> so it's a one-piece outfit. You see here these kids <laughs> are on their arms and legs. The idea made from 100% cotton, so it has absorbent materials. So I guess you could pick up some spills. I kind of like it because it's a little extra cushioning for the, it for is the kids. Cushioning. And it looks cool. So it's 40 bucks. I guess this was started as a joke in Japan, but a U.S. company yeah. decided this, this actually is a really cool concept. I will say this. A lot of people may look at this outfit and say, oh, it's terrible to have your kids crawling around on the floor cleaning things it's up. But, but we know that, especially in the home, the environment, unless you're using hardcore cleaning chemicals, which we say avoid with kids, you know, there's no harm in a kid rolling around you on the imagine floor. Imagine what this thing would look like by the end of the I think we need to give Dr. Rachel one of these for her little Yeah, beard. I think so. I mean, like this, they're actually really, really cute. We'll be right back.